And hello everyone, this is Dimitri. Today we are going to add our own font to the workbench so you can make your UI exactly as you want from your mockup. As you know, in Daisy we have a limited list of fonts. They may not be perfect and sometimes we don't we want to add our own. So today this tutorial will be how we can import it and how we can create it. So first of all, we're going to need our own font. So for that, I will invite you to find it in online. Usually you have multiple websites. Make sure that you have the correct licenses regarding the fonts because usually they are licensed or sometimes they're free. So for this uh, tutorial, we're going to use the Korean New, which is a freely font available. We will download it, which is something I already do. And we're going to receive a TTF file. So that's quite important because only TTF file, for my knowledge, works for Daisy. So once you've got your TTF font, you're going to have to import it into the game. So for that, we're going to use our Tuto Daisy template from a previous tutorial. So make sure to have follow this video if you want to do this one. And we're going to copy it into this template. We're going to launch the workbench. So in my case, it's already loaded. I'm just going to refresh and then we're going to have access to the file. So careful about these uh, steps right now, because if you haven't set it, set the workbench properly, usually when you click on that TTF file, the workbench will crash. It means you haven't properly launched it from a template from uh, the P drive. And if you don't have correctly done that, then it could crash. So make sure to set up the P drive correctly, launch the workbench correctly, and then you can arrive at these steps safely. So from there, what do we do? Well, as you can see, we've got all the different characters from this language. So we're going to do the following. We're going to select the different language we want to uh, take into charge for this uh, particular language. Uh, we can select more if we need. Uh, usually I do the following presets that are the most common. And then I choose to generate a bitmap. And I simply click on generate bitmap, which will generate a list of fonts from different sizes uh, into the game. So if I press save, I'm going to choose the uh, output folder. So I'm going to put it into my uh, tutorial daisy template. I'm going to call it courier new. All right. I'm going to press save. And if we refresh the folder, you can see that we now have the fonts with uh, some examples of the text. So now how we can use it into our GUI. Uh, quite simple. Let's say you create a GUI. So we're going to do that right now. I'm going to create test layout. Okay, we're going to place it in the middle of the screen. I'm going to create a panel. Panel, panel. All right. Let's put the panel in the middle. Let's put it at 100%. All right, let's just put some dark so we can see correctly the font. And let's put it at colorable. Okay, so now let's add a text. Let's put it into the panel. Let's center it and we're going to write some text like hello world classic size to text h i'm going to increase the width and what we can do with the text i'm going to center the text and we're going to select the font so the one of the issues I noticed, but we can actually resolve it this way. Uh, the fonts are 
located here. So if I copy, actually, I'm going to try to do that. If I copy this into GUI, into fonts, I should be able to see the fonts now when I select it. If it's not now, it will be after the restart. Yeah, we have to restart. So let's restart the workbench. So let's go back to P, the Daisy Tuto template, workbench, Daisy Gprog. All right, let's put it in full HD. Select the text. Courier new should be here. Hello. And we have our new font. So one thing to notice is when you're going to use this font uh, into your mods, you're going to have to change a few things because by adding the font directly into GUI and fonts, you can see it in uh, the workbench. But when you will uh, add it to your mod and publish it into the workshop, that font will have to be here in the font folder. And the issue with that is you're gonna have to change the path. So in here, you're gonna have to change the path of the fonts. So if we take a look right now, you'll see that the font is actually in GUI fonts, but we're gonna to have to change that to Tuto Daisy template and font. And we're gonna to have to put the font here. We don't do that because we cannot import from my knowledge the font directly uh, from this folder. We need to put it into the GUI font folder if we want to see it in the workbench. So. That's a double standard. It's a bit annoying, but if you want to see it in the workbench, you have to place it into GUI font folder. But if you want to use it into your mod, into the, the final mod, you're gonna have to add it into the mod itself and obviously uh, change the path of it in the layout. All right, I hope this video was interesting. You learned how to make your own fonts and you enjoyed it. See you.